Every week, thousands of new fish keepers bring home their very first aquarium. And with it, a dream, a tiny underwater world, alive and glowing in their living room. But behind many of those dreams hides a quiet pattern that repeats itself again and again. Fish dying too soon, tanks collapsing, people giving up before they ever truly begin. Why does this keep happening? The truth is simple, but most beginners never see it coming. It all starts with one mistake, choosing the wrong fish. If you're just starting your aquarium journey, this might be the most important advice you'll ever hear. Because what you're about to learn could save you months of frustration and the lives of your fish. All I ask in return is a simple click on the subscribe button. Let's start with the fish that captures almost everyone's heart, the discus. They're elegant, calm, and absolutely mesmerizing. You see them gliding through crystal clear water, glowing under the light, and you think, that's the one I want. But here's what most people don't realize. Discus are not just beautiful, they're demanding. Their price is only the beginning of the challenge. They need soft, acidic water, precise temperature control, and absolutely stable conditions. Even a small change in pH or warmth can stress them out, leading to illness or death. They're best kept in large groups, mature tanks that take months to prepare and constant care to maintain. That's why, even though they look perfect for a first aquarium, they're not. If you love that graceful, majestic movement, try angelfish instead. They offer the same beauty without the heartbreak. Now let's talk about the fish that almost everyone starts with, the goldfish. Bright, playful, and sold everywhere for just a few dollars. They look harmless, even perfect for a child's first tank. But here's the truth, goldfish are not small fish. They're powerful, long-lived animals that grow fast and produce a surprising amount of waste. One adult goldfish needs at least 20 gallons of water, strong filtration, and constant maintenance. When kept in bowls or tiny tanks, toxins like ammonia build up quickly, burning their gills and shortening their lives. It's heartbreaking because people don't fail out of neglect. They fail out of misinformation. Goldfish are cold water species. They thrive in cooler, well-oxygenated water, conditions that most tropical setups can't provide. If you love their energy and color, try white cloud mountain minnows or zebra danios instead. They bring the same spark, without the constant struggle. At first glance, the Pangasius looks stunning, sleek, silver, and calm. You see it swimming gracefully in the store tank and think, that would look amazing at home. But here's the catch, that peaceful little fish doesn't stay little for long. Pangasius catfish can grow over three feet in length needing hundreds of gallons of water to swim freely and stay healthy. Within months, they outgrow almost every home aquarium. And it's not just about size. They're fast swimmers that panic easily, bumping into glass and decorations, injuring themselves in small spaces. What starts as a beautiful addition quickly becomes a heartbreaking responsibility. Most people don't plan for that growth and end up returning them or releasing them into the wild where they become a real ecological problem. If you love their graceful movement, consider silver dollars or bala sharks instead. They stay manageable, peaceful, and just as captivating. It's hard not to fall in love with the betta. Those flowing fins, those bright colors, they look like living jewels. You see them displayed in small cups or bowls, sitting alone on a store shelf, and you think they must be easy to keep. But that's where most people go wrong. Bettas are tropical fish, not decorations. They need clean, warm, and stable water, around 78 degrees Fahrenheit, along with a filter and proper space to swim. When kept in tiny containers without heat or filtration, they slowly lose their strength, develop fin rot, and die far too young. It's not because they're weak, but because they're misunderstood. In reality, bettas are curious and intelligent. They explore, build bubble nests, and even recognize their keepers. They deserve more than a bowl. They deserve care, space, and life. So, let's take a moment to remember the five fish we've talked about today. The discus, elegant but high maintenance. The goldfish, small in price but massive in needs. The pangasius, the gentle giant that outgrows every home. And finally, the betta, 
beautiful, intelligent, but often misunderstood. Avoiding these fish doesn't make you overcautious. It makes you responsible. A wise Aquarist builds stability before beauty, patience before population. Every healthy tank begins not with decoration, but with understanding. If this video helped you see your aquarium differently, all I ask in return is a simple click on the subscribe button. Because building a balanced aquarium isn't just about fish, it's about learning, adapting, and respecting life itself. What about you? Have you ever bought a fish that didn't turn out as you expected? Leave a comment while you watch. I'll be replying to all of them. And before you go, make sure to click the video on your screen to keep learning. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.